Okay, Tunku. Um, I think most people in Malaysian football, or even in Malaysia in general, um, know you very well. They know about um, the things you've done with Jodel Takzim, the things you've done for the state as well. But I think one of the more fascinating things is most people don't really know the kind of things you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So could you tell us a bit more, Tunku, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Check on the kids. Check on the kids. Check on the kids. Check how's my daughter doing, my son doing. Um, and then play with them for a bit before I rush to work. My work is always Johor Military Force. Okay. Um, meetings with few government officials and football as well. So yeah, that, that is my everyday routine. And uh, when it comes to your morning um, beverages, coffee or tea and what, what kick starts your day on a usual? Coffee, espresso, coffee. <laughs> double espresso, at least two to three glass of double espresso. I love coffee. I cannot live without coffee. You consume a lot of it on a daily basis? Yes, yes, a lot, a lot, a lot of coffee. Coffee, and, definitely and, uh, coffee. What are the things you do, say for example, off your work, so if you come home from a, from a, from a long day at work? The uh, first thing I do when I come off I mean, from work, when, when I go home, is the kids again. So I will see them and hug them and kiss them and ask them how they are, how's their day. We will go on a buggy, we will go on a round on my polo field, <laughs> see the horses and just to spend time with them and let them run around. And, and yeah, that's it. And that, to me, that is very relaxing to me. I like being with my children and my wife and um, yeah and just to have some barbecues and with few of my footballers yeah. my, my coaches they always come and join me and keep me company as well we are all very tight we are like a family yeah. what's the app that you use the most on your phone app yeah i don't know what's that i think <laughs> a lot of messages <laughs> coming in and things like that. More than yeah. Gmail. More, more. I don't have an email. Ah, okay. I don't sure. even have an email. So, yeah, WhatsApp. I'm getting a lot of... Because I, um, I'm blessed. I have all these people always briefing me things. <laughs> so I always have to check the phone once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. If you switch on Netflix, what's your guilty pleasure? What's the one show you can watch over and over and over again? I, to be honest with you, I don't watch Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't... I hardly watch TV. Okay. I'll be very honest with you. I hardly watch TV. Um, I prefer to switch on, I don't know, Fox Sport, watch football or something ah. like that. You see? <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't watch movie. I don't watch series as well. Okay. I don't watch so series. So maybe let me rephrase that question. Your all-time favourite film? The Godfather. The Godfather, of course. <laughs> um, your all-time favourite actor? Actor? Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. I have few. I have three that I really like. I like Denzel Washington, okay. Robert De Niro, yeah. and um, I also love Al Pacino. And if you have to pick one movie from each actor, your favourite one, so Denzel? Yeah. It will be, I think, Scarface by Al Pacino. Ah, okay. Scarface by Al Pacino. Your day-to-day -day life can be pretty stressful. You've got a vast majority of things. To yeah, a lot. Um, what is the simplest or the most comfortable thing you do on a daily, on a daily basis to just de-stress? Uh, playing polo, I guess. Polo. So polo, polo is the best source of comfort. Polo is uh, my medication. Polo is my therapy. Is it something you, you, you kind of just got into while you were young and it was something that no, you found a lot of comfort in? No, I mean, my whole family play polo. It's like a family tradition. Okay. So, but whenever, because I love the sport very, very much, and whenever I play polo with friends, and after that we have my barbecue, and we sit there as a family, and that is something that I love. But the thing I love the most is the beach. The beach. Yeah, I cannot live without the sea. So I love islands. Island life is, island life. is, is my life. Okay, your favourite island all time. All time favourite island? Yeah. Maldives. Maldives, mm. yeah. Uh, you've got an amazing collection of cars, but if, if you had to sacrifice everything and just keep one, what would you keep? The Range Rover. The Range Rover. So you're a four-wheel drive guy. Yeah, because it's an everyday car. I mean, hardly give you any problem. You can drive in any terrain. It looks good. Um, and it's nice to drive. I love the Range Rover. You meet fans on a regular basis, be it um, people of your state or fans of Joe Daru Takzim all over the country. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure you get some weird requests. What are the, what's the worst or the weirdest request that you've gotten from a fan? 
Well, there's too many. <laughs> to be honest, there's too many. I, I, I can't recall. I don't know, maybe take them for a drive or take them for a spin or something like that. <laughs> I think it's pretty evident at this point that you're a fan of hip-hop. Yep. Um, how did you get into this genre and when did you get into it? I mean, I'm a, nine, I'm a 90s kid. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I grew up in the 90s. 90s to me is the best. Now hip-hop doesn't sound like how they used to sound like. Now it's ridiculous. Now you don't even understand what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even understand what they're rap rapping about. Yeah. So it's, but I just love hip-hop because hip-hop is music that you can express your feelings without trying to be diplomatic. You can really express that feelings, whether you want to be arrogant, whether you do not want to be kind, no holds whether, bar, no holds bar, whether you want to show off, whether you want to show you are humble to those who deserve for you to be humble, but arrogance to those who hate you for no reason. So if you were to be driving your car on a Sunday afternoon uh, after a decent brunch, yes. and um, there's one 90s song that you just want to bump to, what would it be? It would be Tupac, Me Against the World. Me Against the World. Yeah. And, um, if you were in the gym, for instance, yes. and any random night, and you, you know you've got a long night ahead of you, you've got important decisions to make, what's the one song, it's your go-to song to just pump you up in the gym? Oh, Dre, still. Still, Dr. Dre. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, the other question would be, on the night that JDT won against Kashima Antlers, um, first ever Asian Champions League win, yeah. what was the one song that hit your head? Oh man, Straight to the Bank by 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. Um, name me your top five rappers, Tunku. All time. Definitely first one will be Tupac Shakur. Tupac is number one. Yeah. Number one, 100%. Yeah. Second will be Dr. Dre. Oh, I have a few. Huh? Dr. Dre, Tupac. Who else? Snoop Dogg is there. Definitely Snoop is on the list. Is M in the discussion? Eminem. I'm never actually a big fan of Eminem, but I, I love him. And to me, he's 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 brilliant. Okay. So he, he can be yeah. He will be there, one of them. And Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. That's that's such a strange thing because a lot of people tend to not have Lil Wayne in the top five, but he is pretty good, isn't he's he? He's good in terms of lyrical. He he is good. He's good at putting the piece together. So, but I mean, he's a modern day rap. So not many people from the '90s will like it. But just to have someone new in there, in that five list. And so, yeah. Tunku, one final question. What's the final hip hop or the one hip hop track that changed your life? Tupac. That's it. All Eyes On Me. All Eyes On Me. Completely changed it. Completely changed my life. Thank you, Tunku. It's been fun. Hopefully, you get more of a uh, kick out of hip hop in the coming years as well.